Nigeria has rated the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, below average in the just concluded presidential and national assembly elections. This was made known during the post national election interim press briefing in Abuja. CTV's Tony Abba now completes the report. As Nigerians anxiously await the declaration of the winner of the last Saturday national elections, Caritas Nigeria has presented her post election interim report to the public. The report, which was presented by the Executive Secretary of Caritas Nigeria, Reverend Father Uchi Obodoechina, expressed disappointment over the deployment of material during the conduct of the elections. It is with deep regret we announce our total disappointment with the snail pace deployment of sensitive and non-sensitive materials in more than 50% of the 176,606 polling units across the country. It is not only disheartening to imagine that after the declaration of coffee before the election, and accompanying empty roads and streets, INEC official and security personnel were unable to reach more than 60% of the polling units nationwide before 12 p.m. While this happened, excuses from INEC have been unjustified, with paucity of proactiveness on the part of the national commissioners responsible for logistics and voter education. The destruction of the roads leading to some opposition stronghold in Kogi State, for instance, not only amounts to sublimal crime of some sort, but must be treated as an, an economic sabotage of the highest proportion, designed to derail the electoral process. In the Federal Capital Territory, we noted with utter amazement the poor deployment of materials to pooling units whose distance is not more than five kilometers from the FCT Commission office. According to Caritas, the Bimodal Voters Accreditation System, BIVAS, was manipulated in more than 30% of the polling units. The Bimodal Voter Accreditation System, BIVAS, is not bad. However, the unprecedented and evil manipulation of the system in more than 30% of the polling units indicate a systematic ploy by INEC to, pro to compromise the precedent set by the world many Nigerians through the struggle and puzzle that led to the passage into law of the 2022 Electoral Act. Otherwise, how do we explain, for instance, the deployment of one beaver's machine in pulling units having more than 2,000 voters who had waited for more than five hours in long queues without the sight of INEC officials. It is even awful to receive complaints from presiding officers who insisted that they were given wrong codes and uncharged the batteries for the beavers machines in most rural areas observed. The report also indicted INEC and the security agents for aiding election map practice. There's no good saying the fact that a great deal of Nigerians we are disenfranchised, arising from the malfunctioning of the beavers, sheer political toggery, and daylight the disruption of the voting process. While this helps where our particular displeasure rests on how INEC officials colluded with policemen and some state authorities to massively to print ballot papers unhindered in places like Lube, Abuja, Apapa, Lagos, Obiapo rivers and some parts of Kasina, Kano, and Gombe states. In some instances, sensitive and non sensitive materials were burnt by dogs. Voters and observers were beaten to stupor in the full glare of security personnel who not only watched this happen but participated in the charade in some polling units in Lagos, FCT, Delta, River State, and the rest. The interim report further commended the patriotism of Nigerians who came out in their numbers to vote during the elections. We encourage and commend the patriotism and resilience of Nigerians to achieve a peaceful conduct of the general election so far. We also want to strongly advise that this is maintained and that the high spirit should not be dampened by naysayers. 
Well, so reaffirm once more that the INEC has a responsibility to organize and deliver a free, fair, credible, secure, and inclusive election. While the hope and trust that Nigerians have on them is arguably dashed, we cannot but state more unequivocally that things are beginning to fall apart. Right now, in Lagos, in almost all places, there was no from ECAT, and we deprecated it in high steps. Overall, I thank Nigerians and thank everybody for all the attention and the ability to ensure that this will work out. Thank you all. In Abuja, Tony Abba, CTV News.